Hey guys and girls, Fox Green back here again. And th today I'm doing a video on how I crafted my ghillie suit. There's probably no perfect time than now to do it, seeing as we're all quarantined in our homes and have nothing else to do. I myself am quarantined in my girlfriend's apartment for two weeks now. I just came by to visit her yesterday and now I'm actually stuck here for two weeks. Thank God I brought all my camera gear with me. But anyway, so if you want to achieve what I achieved um, with my ghillie suit in my last videos, um, simply just follow these steps. I go through how I came with my gun, my face mask, my eye pro, my ghillie suit itself, my belt rig. This video goes through it all. It's simple and if you follow it and go do it at home, you'll have no problem achieving the same results I did. So if I don't see you soon, stay safe, look after yourself and I'll hopefully get another video out in the next two weeks when I'm back home out of my quarantine in my girlfriend's apartment. Oh, and before I go, here's a little clip of my ghillie suit and how it worked out so you can see what you'll be able to achieve by the end of this video. Stay safe, talk to you soon. He's done. So in this first part, I'm going to look at how I camouflage my gun. So as you can see, I've already sprayed it. Spraying it beforehand does not really matter. So as you can see here in front of me, I have a series of different crafting items. Here I've got some KMCS um, leaves, which are basically three meter length of leaves. Um, I'm using these because I'm using a KMCS suit and they'll go perfectly with the camouflage. I'm also using Jack Pike tape here, as you can see, which is a very nice tape. Um, I originally bought the Gorilla tape, and as you can see here, it looks nothing like it's displayed on the internet. Um, it looks a lot greener and it's shinier, whereas the Jack Pike tape is a lot more of a more material type tape and has no sheen and works way better in reality. Especially with my KMCS suit. So I then also went to a local hardware store and managed to find the perfect leaves. Now it's important to pick leaves that match the terrain or the environment you, you want. I also have some sneaky leaves which you can see here they're undyed. I'll show you later how I dye them a little bit and get them to be more crumpled up looking. Um, kind of like these ones here. Um, so this is more of a crumpled up natural looking one and it's slightly dyed. I'll go through all that process as well with you in this video. So um, other than that, these are the main um, things you'll need to uh, craft your gun with. So as I said, my gun has been painted already before. That doesn't matter. Um, as you can see here, what I did is I actually applied a full tan coat to the gun and then laid a netting over it and sprayed brown and greens over it to give it this effect. But that's not something you really need to worry about in this video. We're going to get straight in and cover the entire gun with jack pike tape to start off with. Now I like to use a very sharp stencil knife for doing this. I'm laying the strips lengthways because I want to be able to fully disassemble my gun um, without um, affecting like things like screws and stuff and without having to remove the tape. So the way in which I'm putting on this tape allows me to assemble the gun. I'm also checking that my mag and stuff will release and essentially I'm just covering all aspects of the gun with this tape to help it blend. So do full functionality check, make sure everything works. Next I'm wrapping KMCS leaves around it and zip tying it into position. So you can see this breaks up the outline of the gun a lot easier. I then snip off the cable ties. So this is what we'll have after applying jack bike tape and just some KMCS leaves. Already it's looking very well. Um, now for this little section, I'm actually, this is how I dye my leaves. I brew up some coffee and I like to put them in the boiling water with the coffee. I stir them around. This will, is, will is effectively actually um, dye them. I leave them for a long time in the hot water and I'll come back to them later. Then I take all my leaves and my stuff with some raffia, which is the string I'm using here. You can get it at a local garden center. I essentially just wrap 
my other leaves, my green leaves um, around it and tie everything in place with the raffia. Now the raffia has been sprayed beforehand, green, brown and other colours because otherwise it's very straw colour like and very bright. And I keep applying this in random locations around the gun making sure not to block my scope or scope cam. In the end you'll have something that looks like this. Now I could add a lot more green to this, I could also add halo screen which you'll get to later. A lot of snipers forget to camo their boots, so I'm taking a standard pair of old boots here and using this, this kind of like a sticky velcro tape, I found it very good um, because it sticks to itself and it doesn't leave a sticky residue. I use it on different aspects of my suit, but here I'm wrapping it around my boots. It's great because you can then glue anything you want onto material without it gluing onto the surface or the boot below. I've covered the entire boot bar from above the ankle and back of the sole so I still allow grip and when I do so it looks something like this. I then also add some jack pike tape kind of to the, to the heel here I find it reinforces the whole thing and keeps it together. Now typically this will last about five games before you have to reapply a new one. I've left the bottom back of my sole um, basically camo tape free for grip but I found that the grip wasn't really that badly affected. So in the all in all, you can put some halo screen and more KMCS leaf, leaves on this with shoe glue also for this effect. With my iPro then, what I wanted to do essentially is, it was already camo iPro, but I wanted it to fit in with my suit. So I again applied jack pike tape around the rim of the goggles. I sprayed the lens of the goggles here, as you see, tan and brown, which are the best colours for blending into your environment over greens. I then typically apply the Jack Pike tape everywhere. I then have this fake um, moss, which you can get from model shops. And applying glue, super glue here is what I'm using, but I'd recommend using shoe glue for sticking all camo crafting materials to guns and items. I hold it in place until it sticks. So I apply this in random locations. Again, I could apply this to my gun, my ghillie suit, or anything I want. Um, as you can see then, I've cut some KMCS leaves off and I've got some more raffia. And the problem here is I use super glue. Now, it works fairly well, but it will eventually, these leaves will eventually come off. So definitely use shoe glue instead of super glue. It's gonna be a lot more stable and it'll stay on. So after a while, you can see this it's building up some density and it's starting to look more 3D. It's essentially a normal belt rig I've made myself. I, as you can see, the straps have been wrapped with the same material used on my boots. And that works perfect and it blends perfectly. Now, you could just use jack pike tape like I've used here in my mag pouch for all of the straps as well. It'll work no problem and you can remove it and your belt rig will still be fine at the end. At the back here, I haven't camoed it yet, so I'm gonna go through how I do that first of all. Um, the first thing I'll do is I will cover it, as, as you can see here, with jack pike tape. So cover all your belt rig with this. The jack pike tape is really sticky, it works great, it'll stick on everywhere. Obviously, any Velcro areas leave untouched. So I cover that first of all, I cover it in completely with jack pike tape. Even the belt buckle at the front, as you can see here. How I did this is I just wrapped it fully around and using a sharp Stanley knife, I then cut out these little sections so the clip will function properly. Um, that's fairly important. And as you can see, after doing my function check, it works absolutely fine. It's a little bit stiff, but it's not too bad. I then tie raffia all over it, because raffia goes all over my um, actual suit. I'm using the raffia here to actually tie KMCS leaves onto the straps that go over my shoulders. You can use rip ties also, but the raffia works perfect for both. It's very tough and doesn't break easily. So I tie KMCS leaves and I also stick KMCS leaves over the jack bike tape with shoe glue. So as you can see, this is me doing one of the straps. I've also incorporated my green leaves via raffia and rip ties to it. And like the whole process is the same for every element um, of gear you have. But the nice thing is the jack pike tape, when it, it'll come off, it might leave a little bit of a sticky residue 
instead of the um, the kind of the instead of the stuff I've used on my boots but it still works out really well so you can see here I'm just tying more raffia in place and that KMCS um, leaf is not going to go anywhere you will find using shoe glue is so much better you won't lose some of your foliage as you're gaming but you always do tend to lose a few little bits and pieces um, as you can see here here's my pocket pouch I've added KMCS leaves to that too um, again just with shoe glue and I've also added a lot of raffia for my face mask then it's a standard face mask now the first thing I've already done some of it here but you can see I've got um, but you can see I've got an actual lot of Jack Pike tape again Jack Pike tape is a perfect base I'm sticking it in place here with a mixture of um, glue and other Jack Pike tape um, basically to try and make kind of flappy leaves on, on the front section of my face I've also got halo screen which is um, rip tied into position halo screen uh, you can buy that on skirm shop if you want it but I'm essentially it's the same process KMCS leaves jack pike tape raffia and some green leaves um, and basically after a while it, it'll look something like this it'll have a lot more depth to it and break up again I'm also using some moss here on some of the KMCS leaves sticking it in place um, just to give it a, a bit more greens and make it So as you can see that's now after taking shape quite nicely something like this might take about 40 minutes to do to do this face mask but um, you can take your time at it uh, don't rush it and the more random you can be the better definitely so here's more moss going on now and you'll see how well that works out I'm also tying some little bits of raffia on it nothing major but um, Raffia is great, you can just tie it on, crumple up some leaves and it'll work out really well when it's all together. You might be saying this doesn't look great here but as you saw from the video at the start, this was the suit I crafted for that video. Now the ghillie suit, the ghillie suit itself right, obviously it already is covered in KMCS leaves but I have additional here should I need it if I really want to thicken up an area. The halo screen comes with these brown rip ties. And again, all I need to do here is add greens because the suit is a KMCS brown. So using the brown rip ties that came with my halo screen from Skirm Shop, I essentially look at areas that are that don't have enough greens and I essentially put the rip ties straight through the suit and attach my leaves like so. As you can see, it's very fast and easy. You can easily cover a suit in no time with these. The hard part is finding a color of leaves that matches your environment or the site that you're trying to camo yourself to. But remember, the KMCS also has lots of areas for attaching natural foliage, like here on the arm. So make sure you do attach natural foliage on the day as well for best performance. So I'm just continuing to attach my green leaves here. Um, and if, as well, I'm going to show you now in a second how to attach the halo screen to the suit and what I like to do. So just remember to cut off those um, the little excess from the rip ties. So here now I've got my halo screen and as you can see, it comes from Scrum Shop in lots of different colors. So I like to add a few colors on top of each other before I make it. How I do that is simple. I catch a clump of it in a corner with my finger and I just cut it with a scissors like that. I'll get the other color and again I'll do the same thing. I pinch a little section like this and I will just snip it and then what I'll do is I'll push the two into each other to make kind of a like the two colors combined. Then I will take another one of the brown rip ties and the beauty about this is you can cut all the rip ties and take it all your suit back to normal in no time. It's very simple. Um, you're not destroying your suit in this way at all. So stick a rip tie through, um, then close it up like so. Pinch this little 
and I just, I'm just going to rearrange that now a little bit better as you can see and then all you do is yeah close your rip tie and stick it in and lock it shut lock it very tight so you don't want these sections to fall off while you're out gaming and that's simple as that that's how you add halo screen or how I do it um, and it works it works very well like I've noticed in my um, in my gameplay footage recently that I haven't added enough greens so I'm going to be doing this a bit more to my suit so again as I said pinch a little bit cut it off like so and you do the exact same thing as this to the top half your hood to everything and as I said your face mask to your goggles and even to your gun it's the same process all over except the only difference is how you're sticking it you're either using shoe glue or you're using rip ties I try and use rip ties where possible in most places because I find that removing them afterwards is a lot easier so again we're almost ready to attach the second one so you can see a good hour of crafting like this once you have all your materials you'll be able to craft very quickly with it you'll be actually very surprised how fast you put it together so again pinch it together to make it like a little bunched up section and again apply it to your suit like this and while it doesn't look like much like this when it's fully complete it would the results will be very good and speak for themselves I crafted this before my last video and this is essentially me putting the final touches on it and this is what it looks like with the face mask everything I've also applied and the gun so as you can see this is all I've done and the leaves match perfectly so if you enjoyed this please subscribe and hit that notifications button I'm Fox Green